Hey guys, it's Jamie and I'm here with my October beauty favorites. Um, I know this lighting is not ideal to show you makeup, but it's the best I can do. Um, I don't have a camera right now uh, that works with the new iMovie, so I'll have to film on my phone. Um, thank you guys for bearing with me. It's been a real big pain. Um, but hopefully I'll have a new camera within like a month or so. I don't know. I don't have time to like go and like find one right now. So, but I didn't want to like, wait, I still want to film videos. And I just feel like it's been one thing after the other. Um, so I'm here. I've got some supplies right here and I can't wait to show you. Uh, I know, I think one thing is probably you can't, well, one thing you can't get. But I have to show it to you because you might have it in your collection. Um, and sometimes they bring it back out. So let me get started. I'm going to start with the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. Um, I showed this briefly in, a vlog, in my most recent vlog video that I did. It's a Bare Minerals Gin Nude Lipstick. It's in the shade Queen. I am wearing it today. It is definitely like a plummy, um, just a plummy like raisin color. Um, it is gorgeous. It is non-drying. It is easy to put on. Um, I can't wait to go back and check out the other shades in this because I have enjoyed wearing this one so much. It's so creamy. It's just easy and it feels good and it does not mess with my problem lips. Um, and it's the perfect fall shade. So you guys should go check that out for sure. Love that. Um, one last lip product. I'm obviously not wearing this today. I don't wear a lot of lip liners. It's just not really my thing. Um, but the MAC Lip Liner and Whirl, I have really, you guys know what this looks like. It's like mauve. I have really enjoyed this and why I enjoy it so much I I do have the whirl lipstick that I was gonna mention but um, I may have mentioned that before and if you hear something Barkley's laying right beside me he's so sweet uh, but I have enjoyed lining and filling in my lips and wearing this with like a little bit of lip balm and that's it like not even putting the lipstick over it um, definitely two really pretty shades for this time of year and it's different because I don't have many lip pencils and um, I've been enjoying that one. Let's see. I feel, okay. This is something that's not new. I just wanted to show it again because it's been on heavy rotation. It is a NARS blush in Sin. I am wearing it today. You can see I've put a little dent in it. Um, it is a beautiful, like, plum shade for, I don't know. You could wear this all year round, but for me and my skin tone, I think it's best... I like the way it looks better this time of year um, and into the winter. So it's beautiful. NARS has the best blushes. Um, hi, darling. I hope he, hopefully he'll pop up so you can see him. But um, I love this one. I know my mom loves it. I think she's almost done with hers. I've given this as a gift. And um, it's one of my favorites. It's just really, really pretty. I mean, I know you're not going to be able to see swatches very well in this lighting. But... You know, just doing the best I can do. There it is right there. It's gorgeous. Alrighty. Um, real quick, I wanted to mention this hand cream. It is my favorite hand cream of all time. And it is Avon. So if you don't have an Avon lady, well, I think you can order online. I'm not sure. I have an Avon lady, um, my neighbor, my neighbor that lives in my old neighborhood, Vivian, um, who you guys have heard about before. But um, it is the A New Clinical Absolute Even Spot Correcting Hand Cream with SPF 15. Do I know if it actually spot corrects? No, I don't know. Um, and I, I didn't have this for a long time and I've recently got it again. I just love that it has SPF 15 in it. So it gives some protection for your hands. And I like the way it smells. I have been made fun of for this one because this smell is a real like mature smell. I don't think so. I just, I just think it smells good. It smells like what hand lotion should smell like. Ooh, that was a piece of, um, you know how sometimes it gets crusty. I just love the smell of this stuff. If you guys have smelled it, then you know what I'm talking about. I don't really know how to explain it, except it's a very lotion-y smell. But I love it. I love this hand cream. Um, so yeah, so contact your local Avon lady. Um, my mom used to sell Avon back in the day, so I'm always partial to Avon. But I love this hand cream. All right, what next? The rest, eye products. Let's go ahead and, um, mm, yeah, let's do the ones that aren't gonna like stain my fingers. So I've really been into different eyeliners and I'm not sure if I showed this in a haul, I may have around my birthday. Um, Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eye pencil and loaded and it's a dark green. 
in love with this. I'm wearing it today. You cannot see it. I know. But it is a beautiful green. It's beautiful. And it looks really good on. And they're so easy to work with. They're so creamy. Um, I have really been enjoying this green color. Love it. And speaking of another fun fall color, this is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Eye Pencil in number 12 Burgundy Suede. It is, gosh, you can see I need to sharpen it. She's had, she's seen better days. It is a beautiful darkened burgundy. And it's just two different tones for this time of year that it's just nice sometimes to wear those instead of brown or black or gray. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I just think they really complement uh, my eye color and my skin tone. And I am really impressed with them. This is the only Estee Lauder one that I have and I would totally get some more. But this, these two colors, oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today, which I don't know if you can tell, is super pricey. <laughs> it's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio. It's limited edition, so go to your, I got mine at Walgreens. So go to your drugstores. It's called Plaid to the Bone, and it has been awesome. I have been, the Brow Bone shade right here, you can tell I've been using it. I've actually used that. I use that all over the lid. That's what I have on, and then I have the eyelid shade in the crease, and I have used this one, the dark green, um, but today I'll just show you the colors that I've been using the most. Look at those. Absolutely stunning. $2.99. Doesn't get any better than that. Um right there but absolutely love this so if you managed to snag this then you did great and um, hopefully for those of you who are interested you can still find them at drugstores um, right now when it says limited edition I'm like I don't know how long I got this a uh, several weeks ago maybe a month ago um, I would hope that you could still find them but I had to had to show it um, this is something else that I've really been into not a new product for me it's a Mally eyeshadow stick and this is in did I pick the right one yes um saddle shimmer and i've just been it's worst swatcher in the world right there it's just a really nice um like copper brown color and i've just you know you guys know that for a while now i've kind of been into real easy eye looks whether it's a pot form or what but this seriously um it does stay on for a long time but i just put a little bit on and i take my finger and sometimes I take a brush and like smooth it in, but it's easy. And some of those days that I wake up and I'm tired, um, I do feel like I've really been enjoying my makeup lately and like playing and actually using more. Like I've, I need to do a video on it actually. I've been keeping like a little makeup tray and I'm rotating stuff. So I'm really like using my stash. Um, and I've had a lot of fun, but some mornings I still wake up and I either, you know, don't feel great or didn't sleep great the night before or, just kind of in a hurry and these things like that are really easy um, I'm pretty sure I got this in a subscription box like a few years ago and it's still good and I still like it um, and the last eye product that I have to mention and this is one that I know that most of you probably can't get right now is the Chanel Illusion de Ombre in New Moon I cannot get enough of this this is fall in a pot it is fall in a pot that's what it is um, it is sparklicious uh, if you have this pull it out immediately and start using it I apply this with my finger I apply it with um, a brush sometimes but I mean that's not even doing it justice right there because you can build it up and make it darker um, but good grief it is beautiful I love it it's sparkly it just when I wear it, when I wear that eyeshadow, whenever I catch like my reflection in a mirror or something, I'm like, ooh, like it, it makes me happy. It makes me excited. Um, she's a pricey one and I got it, that's a couple, like two years old. And then it came out again, I believe last year because I'm pretty sure I picked one up for my mom. So they re-promote these sometimes. I get over, like I get frustrated with all the limited edition crap just put it out and make enough for people and you know when people love something people really I think people loved or hated this like you know those of you who don't wear sparkles don't go get this if you're not into any shimmer don't go get this I mean don't you know you wouldn't have gone to get this but Chanel knows that this was 
people love this one and um, I hate that it doesn't just stay out and make it into their collection it just makes me frustrated um, because it's beautiful and I, I hope that a lot of you watching may, might have this in your collection um, but if you do pull her out and this is the most beautiful time of year like I said this is fall in a pot for your eyes um, like I said, I've really been enjoying makeup lately, um, having a good time, and uh, found some really good stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying this time of year. I hope you had a great Halloween going into the holiday season. Um, Thanksgiving for us is right around the corner. I know my Canadian friends have already celebrated theirs. Um, but yeah, we're, this is a great time of year um, for my family. Wes's birthday is in December. Obviously, Vivi's first birthday is in December and you know, Christmas. Um, this time of year just fills me with so much joy. I just, I just love it. I love, I'm looking outside. I love the leaves. I love how the dogs get like a little pep in their step when it's cooler and they go out. Um, I love the fireplace. I love smelling people's fire, like real fires that they have. We don't have a real fireplace anymore, but I love fire pits and wine and, oh, I could just go on and on. But anyway, um, I miss talking to you guys. That's probably why I'm rambling right now and just chit chatting like we're, you know, having a drink together. But, um, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I hope to get my camera situation under control, but you guys bear with me. It might, it might not be until the beginning of the year. Um, but I'm going to do the best I can. I miss filming. I, I told Wes recently, I was like losing those videos, um, that I had filmed. I was just really excited about them for some reason. Um, and losing them kind of set me back a little bit. I got so frustrated and so upset and I know that there are bigger things in the world to be upset about than that. But, um, it just got me down a little bit and, you know, not being able to figure out my computer and then having the editing issues, um, it just kind of got me down a little bit, but I'm over it. I'm past it, and I'm trying to, you know, figure out how to uh, get back, get back into the groove of things, and figure out my computer <laughs> slowly but surely, baby steps. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye, Bubba. Hey, Bubba, you want to say hi? You want to say hi? <gasps> you want to do video? Look. Say hi. I love makeup too. <laughs> Your mouth is caught. I love makeup too. Hi, darling. I love you. Oh, he's so sweet. He says hi, everybody. Okay. I love you too, buddy. Okay. <laughs>